800-441-2400. Friday at 9, we have an all-new episode of Margin Partners of Monkeys. Where'd you get that donut? Well, it's not a donut. It's a dirt nut. Made from real dirt and dirt byproducts. Hey, did you hear the one about the guy who was lactose intolerant? Watch an all-new My Gym Partner's a Monkey, Friday at 9 on Cartoon Network. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Maximum Security Time Research Center, where uh, we're here today to. Uh, uh, hey, where are you going? It was sure cool of them inviting us here to see the world's first time machine. Yeah, these watch watching, clock clocking, calendar counting dudes have been swell. Yeah, yeah. right on. Right. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, right over here we have TIM, which stands for Time Isolation Machine. Tim is the world's first time machine built up from a grandfather's clock. Tim, how does it feel being the world's first time machine? It feels just great being the first time isolation machine. Very soon we can cure all ills and all wars and maybe someday... Yes? I can see the Globetrotters play basketball. Hey gang, did you hear that? Yeah, our talking timepiece wants to see us in action. Well, what are we waiting for? What do those fools think they're doing? I am the Time Lord, and I alone will control time. With my time crystal, I control all time. And with it, I can stop time completely. And that's not all. I can speed up time, but enough. I must steal the time machine before those fools use it to make the world a better place to live. With my time crystal, I'll gather together the greatest crooks of all time. The lioness, the greatest cat burglar who ever lived. Tumblr, the greatest safecracker of all time. The eagle, whose eyes make him the greatest lookout man in history. And wheel. The fastest getaway driver who ever lived. So here we are, the time team together with my mastery over time itself. We are invincible. No one on Earth can stop us from stealing the time machine. All right. Olga, Olga. I'm the sky is calling. Go ahead, Climb Globe. Now dig this. <laughs> The Time Lord has surrounded himself with historical crooks. Wow. And is planning to perpetuate the perfect crime. What felonious act are they cooking up, Crime Globe? They're planning to capture the Time Machine. That means Tim. We gotta stop them. There ain't no time to lose. Pick, brothers. We gotta hit the flight line. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to... Go, 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 Trotters! All right, brothers, let's get this show on the road. Go, Trotters, superheroes! Oh, hey! Stop on the
the next rise. How's this? Fly. And there it is, the Time Machine Research Center. Eagle, look through that ground fog and check that wall. No problem. It's a piece of cake, just a little barbed wire. Lioness, can you do it? With my bag of tricks, I'll get in there. Good. You each have your job to do. So, everybody in the car, and let's go. Keep a sharp lookout for the Time Machine Research Center. In this fog, I doubt if we can find my wristwatch. Do you think you can handle this time equation, Tim? No problem, Doctor. Wonderful, Tim. See you in the morning. Thanks, Doc. Got to lock up tight. There. Lots of people would like to gain control of the time machine. Does that catapult always work? It always has. This is how cat burglars get to high places. Up you go, lioness. Roger! Now to open the gates and let my felonious friends in. Anybody know where we are? No, but if we slow down anymore, we're gonna stall out. Hold it, hold it. I've got a pin spot. Yeah, there it is. We're right over at the time center. Yeah, and like I said, we've stalled out. Yeah! Well, what do you know? We're right outside the gates. If those gates are open, it must mean that the Time Lord is already inside. Let's go. Just as I thought. Those globe trotters are in the complex. TL will want to hear about this. Quiet, everyone. I've got to hear the tumblers fall. Hey, your lordship. Eagle, why aren't you at your lookout post? I thought you should know that the Globetrotter superheroes are here. The Globetrotter superheroes? We better get out of here and fast. Nonsense, Lioness. It would be rude for us to leave without taking the dear boys with us. <laughs> now, which way do we go? With all these halls, it's hard to say. But only one of them goes to the Time Machine Research Room. Well, how are we gonna find out which one's the one? Simple, we'll use science. Here's more, or he's got the scientific. Just a second. Here's a genuine scientific gizmo. What you got? A compass. And it's pointing smack dab at that center hall. Amazing, that takes the guesswork out. Absolutely logical. There's nothing like being accurate. Come on, brothers, down this hall is the way. Hurry, hurry! I want this door open before those meddlesome dribblers get here. And it's open now. Well, finally. Intruders, intruders, state your business. So you're the time machine? I am the world's first time isolation mechanism, built up from a grandfather's clock. Who are you? I am the Time Lord, master of all time and space. And now I am your master as well. Hey, boss. Huh? Here's some moving wheels. Good. Load the time machine on. The rest of you come with me, and we'll zap those globe-trotting do-gooders. Be very quiet. The Time Lord's people could be all around us. Ah! Hush, man. Uh, uh, Curly, where'd you go? Hey, Nate, hold it. I've spied around, and Curly ain't to be found. The Time Lord's got him. That whistle came from the room on the end. Let's go! All right, Time Lord. The game's up. Unhand our teammate. Not today. And now you will accompany me to my mansion hideout, where I'll put the next phase of my plan into action. What is this? It feels like a solid wall. Yeah, but I can't see it. You can't see it because you're trapped in the time warp, trapped inside a barrier of time, and you globe-trotting goody-goodies can do nothing to pass through it. So what's the game plan? I have special plans for you, very special plans. I'll recruit him, the time machine. With the help of his computing circuits and my time crystal, I can send them back a million years. Negative. I will not help send the globe-trotters back in time. 
You will help me, or I shall magnetically erase your memory tapes. No, not that. Then stand by to assist me in transferring these yokels back to the age of the dinosaurs. I'll be back as soon as I turn up the generators. You only got a few minutes to get out of here. Impossible. Nothing can pass through a time barrier. Ooga, ooga. The crime globe. Right on. Now dig this. Tim is in error. Moisture can pass through this type of time warp. <laughs> if liquid man vaporizes, he can pass through the floor base, then reconstruct at the console. Okay. Here goes. Now what? Push the top button on the left side and shatter the barrier. Roger, the top button. Come on, brothers. We gotta get Tim and get out of here. We gotta get him out of this house. As quiet as a mouse. Let's go. Man, we gotta do something about that canary. Watch that strange noise. Hold it. Do something about it, Gizmo. I'm just the man with the oil can. Now let's try it to see if it's quiet. Yeah, man, you All did right. it. Yeah. 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 So, attention, fellow felonious team members. This is the Time Lord. Now listen well. The Globetrotters have the time machine and are loose in the mansion. I want them captured. This is a grand test of our skills against those basketball buffoons. Let's go. There they are. I will concentrate on grabbing the time machine while you take the trotters. Now, start your attack. You got to find the best way to get out of this old haunted house. Everybody start looking. Okay, let's go. I'll go this way. Hmm. I wonder where this hall go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I won't miss next time. You'll be safe here, and I'll be close by. Emergency! Emergency! Hey! They got Tim! All globe trotters! Red alert! Come a-running! What's the matter? What's the flap? The Time Lord has Tim, and we got to get him back. Hey, man. All we were trying to do was get out of this shack. Now what do we have to do? Yeah, how do we take those guys? We're going to use the Time Lord's Time Warp Time Barrier. Uh, don't try and say that again, Hemp. Now here's what we'll do. You geese. OK, Sweet Lou, we'll need some bait on the Time Barrier platform. Because when Malta Man and his duplicates lure the billions into the laboratory, that's where we want them to go. I get it. When you get all four of them in here, you'll punch the button and trap them like the Time Lord had us trapped. All right, Gizmo. What have you got for bait? I've got just the thing for a bunch of crooks. How about a million dollars in phony gold coins? Just the thing. Stack it on the platform, then find a place to hide. Malta Man should start bringing them in any time now. For your protection, here are your gadgets. Low gravity television, next coin, era, and the ballistic microphone camera, itty bitty mini bomb, and finally, the reverse polarizing hair clip. It can reverse electrical flow in any cable, and it's cute as a button. They might need a little longer to get ready, but it's worth it. <laughs> New episodes of Totally Spy start April 3rd on Magoozy. How awesome! Only on Cartoon Network. What's squishy, stretchy, and transforms almost anything? Ah! Flome is fun you can feel, roll it, mold it, or cover it. That's the way you flome it. Look, now you can turn anything into a fabulous flome creation. Transform this wooden fossil into a fierce flome T-Rex. 
Turn this ordinary toy car into a foaming fast dragster. Or change this plain dollhouse into a foam-tastic mansion. Foam sticks to almost anything. And when you're done, squish it back and start all over, or let it harden and keep it forever. Look, clay is messy and hard to start, but foam turns fun into a work of art. Check it out. Tiny foam microbeads magically stick together and form to any shape you want. Now craft fancy foam to wear. Model creepy foam critters. Or build an erupting volcano of foam. Plus, mix and match colors for any design you can imagine. Create a stylish jewelry case or a funky foam base. Foam your pencils so they're cool or show some spirit at school. Make costume masks, even foam rainbow glass. Take foam outside and the fun will go on. Foam your bike, a scooter, a skateboard, your shoes. With foam in your hands, the fun never stops. Just ask anyone who foams, from parents to tots. You get the complete foam molding and modeling kit that includes one large tub of red, one of blue, and one of yellow. All three fun fluorescent colors, plus the foam model making guide for just $19.95. And that's not all. Make the foam call right now. And as a special bonus, we'll add a large tub of green to your order free. But hold on. For a limited time, when you order from TV, you'll get double-sized tubs of foam in every color free. Double the foam means double the fun for the same low price. And for even more foam adventures, ask the operator about our Jumbo Family Fun Pack. Foam, it's fun you can feel. Call now. Call 1-800-941-6722 and order the complete foam kit with four double-sized tubs and the model-making guide for just $19.95. So call 1-800-941-6722 now. Floam, it's fun you can feel. Must be 18 or older to call. Now on Cartoon Network, it's Shaolin Showdown. Join Ami and his fellow Shaolin trainees, Clay, Kamiko, and Raimundo, as they travel around the world searching for the mystical Shen Gong Wu. Uh-oh. Ah. It's Shaolin Showdown, Monday through Friday at 6 on Cartoon Network. a note to me. See, gold in the laboratory? Well, this is just for me alone. This is a nutty place to pin a note. Uh, Lioness is stealing your share of the gold from the laboratory. So the pussycat is showing her claws. Hey, Eagle Beak, there's a note out here for you. Who's there? Hmm, I don't see anybody. But there's a note on the lawn. Let's see, my telephoto vision shows me your share of the gold is being stolen from the laboratory by your pals. Huh, that's what I get for working with a bunch of crooks. For you, Buster. You better get in the laboratory before all the gold is gone. What? Nobody told me about any gold. Here they come. Everybody duck out of sight. Something happened. I'll say it did. Listen, you clowns. We're locked in behind a time warp barrier. Who wants to get out? <laughs> Linus is right. We're going to hold you until the Time Lord hands over Tim. Is that so? Well, rest assured that can't be done without a major contest. Well, what'll it be? Tiddly winks at 20 paces or tic tac toe at two? No. But I have a proposition that you goody-goody-do-gooders might like. What is it? A winner-take-all sporting contest between my people and the Globetrotters. Uh, what sport do we play and what are the stakes? Your game, basketball. And we'll play to see who gets Tim, the time isolation machine. You're wrong. But another thing, if we win, you go to jail for stealing him in the first place. I don't intend to lose. Not with my time crystal's help. We don't care about your silly pistol, but there's one thing more. What's that? That we play at the sports arena and the gate goes to charity. Done. Now, let my people go. Okay, the time barrier is off. Great, but we're gonna keep the gold. I think you better look at it first. What's this say? Fun time pot, fake gold coin? 
Well, how crooked can you get? Here we are at the sports arena for tonight's big basketball game between the untested Polonius Five and the fantastic Globetrotters. The proceeds of tonight's event are being donated to charity at the insistence of the Globetrotters. And now, we would like to introduce the players. Sweet Lou Dunbar at center. Nate Branch and Twiggy Sanders, the forward. And the guards, Curly Neal and Guy Sosby. Now, for the Polonius Five at center, the Time Lord. The forwards are the Lioness and Wheels. And go. What's our game plan, T.L.? Sneak, cheat, kick, bite, scratch, dribble, scribble, then scramble. And there's the start of our game. Well, where'd he go? Now, to put the slow-itis on those globetrotters. <laughs> And a little speed items for our side. Wowee! That was so fast, I don't think I saw it. Wow, even instant replay missed it. And there's the first score in the game, Polonius 5-2. This is fun. Uh-oh, Tumblr's going to need some help through those three trotters. One of the Polonius 5 wants to dribble through. How's that for ball handling? Dang it. For a few minutes, I thought I was moving at a breakneck snail's pace. Slowing them down is taking too long. I'll just set the old time crystal on overdrive and get the show on the road. Those guys move faster than a minnow in a trout stream, man. It's that time crystal. If we would try to get it away from the time, Lord, he'd just sap us to a stop. Ooga, ooga. The time globe. Now dig this, Dunderhead. The time crystal will not repeat, will not present a problem if one of you will use his head. Who? What? How? Hit the lockers and check back. Come on, brothers. <laughs> Now, CG, what's the jive? Simple. <laughs> you have to shield yourselves from the time crystal. I get it. Gizmo, give me my shield. Now you're thinking. I've got it right here someplace. There you are, Monty Man. All right, Globetrotters. <laughs> Let's hear it. Super Globetrotters, let's Gentlemen, the exciting second half is about to begin. And there's the start. When she jumps, I'll give her a boost. There. Way to go! Here comes points of Pony Express. The Super Globetrotters are making their move. I'll slow those guys. Hey, you're in my way. Any more time, Lord. Super Globetrotters can stop your kind anytime. This is the way we score our points. Score our points. Score our points. We're ahead of you now, and you're out of business. Why don't you give up? No, never. The Time Lord knows no defeat. Maybe a few reinforcements would convince you. Especially if I told them all to crowd in. No, get back. Don't do that. I give up. Then the game's over. You win. Hey, hold it, fellas. Yeah, the game's over. The Time Lord gave up. Why'd he do that for? We were doing pretty good. My sharp eyes should have seen that Time Lord was a no-good crook. That's it, folks. The game has been called on a technicality with the Globetrotters winning 48-28. Good night, all.
Well, Globetrotters, we've got the Time Lord and his gang in the police van. I guess that wraps it up. You want us to send a truck for the time isolation machine? Oh, no. Tim's a very delicate instrument. We better take him back by hand. Okay, Globetrotters. We'll see that his lordship gets a lot of time. So long. Why didn't we let the cops send a truck for Tim? This is all uphill. And we're still miles away. Oh, it's not so bad, brothers. Just a little bit further, and then it's all downhill to the research center. Hang on tight. Watch out for my counterbalance. Easy on my fifth dimensional computer.